So as you can tell, today I'm going to be sharing with you some fall hairstyles. I'm doing all of these hairstyles with my hair straightened because I have really thick, wavy hair usually, so it's a lot easier for me to style it when I have it straightened. Depending on your hair type, you can straighten it, you don't have to, whatever works best for you. But let's just get started with the first hairstyle. So the first hairstyle that I'm going to be showing you guys is a simple half up, half down. So I start by taking two small strands out in the front just to kind of frame my face. And then I grab the top section of my hair from both sides and just pull it back and secure it with an elastic. This is definitely not my best work. It came out a little rough on the sides, but that's just sort of how it would look. I think it's a really cute and super easy hairstyle if you're in a rush. So for this hairstyle, you are going to need a claw clip. There are so many different types of claw clips, like this small square one and this like black one, which is pretty small, but it's like opens wide. So it's perfect if you have thick hair like me. I'll link it down below. Um, but you're just going to, if you want, you can take some hair out in the front, just like the last hairstyle. It's totally optional, but if you like how that looks. Um, and then you're just going to twist the hair up in the back and secure the clip on about halfway. You don't want all the hair in it for this style. But the remaining hair above where you clipped it, you can just pull down and it might get a little knotted. So you can just brush that out to get it all nice and smooth. And that is literally it. It is so easy and perfect for school. You can literally just throw a claw clip in your backpack and then pull out your phone camera and put in the clip if you get like hot or if you just want your hair out of your face. It is perfect. And you can pull out more pieces if you want to to make it look messier or you can make it look super neat. It's totally up to you. This hairstyle is literally perfect. So for this next one, we're also going to use a claw clip, but this one is a lot longer. So as you can see, I have two different types, but the one that I chose opens up wider, so it's great for my hair, like I said. So just like the last one, you're going to want to twist your hair up, but this time we're going to be putting all of the hair in the clip. So you're just going to want to twist all of that hair all the way up. It's going to take a lot of practice and getting used to, especially if you have longer hair. Um, you're just going to try to get all of that in the clip you might have to tuck some pieces in if they're being stubborn and they don't stay in but eventually you will get the hang of it again you can pull out pieces in the front if you would like and that is the finished hairstyle it is super easy and it looks really good so once again for hairstyle number four we are going to be using a claw clip i'm going to go with that blue one that i almost chose for the last hairstyle because i think it is perfect for this one so for this hairstyle, we're only going to be clipping up half of the hair. So you're going to grab the top section of your hair and just twist it up as if you're doing like a little bun. But you're going to want to tuck in all of that hair. And then you're going to take whatever clip, whatever size, whatever style you would like. I just used this blue one, like I said, and you're going to clip it. I did it a little crooked, but that's the overall idea of it. I think it looks amazing if you straighten your hair too. Um, at least for me, I just love how that looks. Um, it is super, super easy and quick to do, and I am just obsessed with this style. I think it is my new signature hairstyle for this fall. I love it so much. So, for hairstyle number five, we are switching it up. No claw clip this time, but we are going back to pulling out some pieces in the front, if you would like. And you're just going to take a small to medium section of hair from the front of your head and you're going to take a small clear elastic to tie it up into just a little ponytail make sure it's nice and secure and then repeat on the other side and there you have it that is a super easy hairstyle i think it looks especially good if you have layers in your hair it just really brings those layers out and looks really good so you can leave it at that if you would like or you can go the extra mile and braid those two ponytails I think this is a fun way to spice up a simple hairstyle. You're just going to braid with three sections all the way down. If you don't know how to braid, I'll link a quick tutorial down below that you can learn. So you're just going to tie off that braid, do the same on the other side, and there you have it, two in one, two amazing cute hairstyles that you can do. I think it is so cute and definitely gives fall vibes. So for this one, we are going to start off by getting your hair into a ponytail. You can do it somewhere sort of in the middle, not really a high ponytail, not really a low one, just somewhere in between and make sure that it is 
nice and tight and secure so it won't come out and then you're going to section off the hair with the same small elastics from the previous hairstyle and you're just going to create a bubble braid going down your hair this is a super super fun and unique hairstyle the number of elastic you need will vary depending on the length of your hair but i usually go with about four to five and this is how it turns out i think this is perfect if you do like a sport or something and you just want your hair nice and way out of the way you can pull out some pieces in the front and it just looks really really good and unique so this hairstyle i'm kind of 50 50 about i'm not sure if i love it let me know what you think down below but you're just gonna take some thicker pieces out in the front and then put on a headband which is not something i normally do but if you have like just a fun simple fall headband i think it would be cute to try out some people can really pull off a headband others can't i'm not really sure where i fall with that but let me know what you think i would try it out if you want some new hairstyle ideas so hairstyle number nine is probably the most difficult of the video it is french braids so you're going to start off by parting your hair down the middle which I find pretty difficult just because you can't really see what you're doing in the back and it turns out uneven sometimes, but it's okay. And then you're going to tie off half of your hair that you're not using and then just French braid the other side. So French braid is basically like regular braid except you are adding more hair each time. I will link another tutorial down below because this video is kind of just me like showing you hairstyle ideas. I'm not super good at explaining things, but French braid is a style that will probably take you years to master. I've been working on it since I was like eight and i am still not great at them but it is a really fun hairstyle it definitely gives like you can wear it any season but specifically i think it's good for fall because i don't know braids just give me like pinterest fall girl vibes i don't know if that's just me but yeah this is probably not my best work here are some better examples of my french braids i've done in the past i was kind of under pressure you know in this video and then number 10 if you leave the braids in overnight it'll make a really cute wavy effect when you wake up in the morning which is what i do pretty much every time i wear braids and it looks super good and it's another hairstyle so that is pretty much it for this video i really hope you enjoyed and learned some new hairstyles so thanks so much for watching bye